Hey guys, Jimmy Salsa here. Just wanted to do a quick review for you all. The Texas Parasol. These plans are available for free. And they were written by or drawn up by Richard Lamb. I have downloaded the, the manual as well as the drawings. Here's a little disclaimer here. Very nice plans. If you want, I can read this for you. This is the history. The te Texas Paracel began as a quest for a simple, simpler, stronger, less expensive alternative to the traditional rag ultralight airplane. Through the years and much experimentation, the design has evolved into a truly nice flying, easy to build, honest little airplane patterned after the Piet and Pole Sky Scout of the 1930s. The construction, however, is thoroughly modern. Since 1980, over 60 of these little planes have been built by dozens of people. Extruded 6061 T6 aluminum angle and AD type rivets are, are used to make up the fuselage structure. This has proven to be so superior to pop rivet tube in strength that the, and ruggedness that the builders have vowed never to go back to the pop rivet tube construction. In fact, this has become the construction technique of choice around the San Antonio area. Wings are built around aluminum tube spars and ribs routed from urethane, PVC, or styrofoam sheets and only take about a day to build from scratch. Now this is a day to build the wings. Nice little design. The entire airplane is covered with lightweight seasonite and traditional dope finishes like Randolph or stilts. Unlike the traditional covering practice, however, we are more concerned with weight than gloss. Enough finish to apply uh, is applied to seal the surfaces only. Power plant options abound. Early airplanes used the Zenoa two-stroke engine, about 40 horsepower. The power-to-weight ratio of the modern two-strokers, like the Rotax series, make them hard to beat for pure excitement. But some people still prefer heavier four-stroke engines, such as the Volkswagen, Subaru, Geo, Suzuki, BMW, you name it. <sighs> The tools required, all basic tools, you're just putting everything together. Um, simple design, really good plans. Building the fuselage. So you set up your workbench, cut all your pieces, put them together, rivet them up. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Now let's go to, where did I? Ah. Oh. oh, is this a picture of the parasol? Um, my files here. guys want to see the wood wait let me go back to the uh let me find the plants i got so many plants here we got the mm -hmm. heath parasol the quickie here's the texas parasol this is the manual and here are the drawings 
<laughs> Beautiful drawings. These are the tubes. Na, 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 na. There we go. My old phone takes a while. This is one inch. 058 wall and that is um, 6160 aluminum okay here's the dimensions here I'm not gonna you know if you want the plans I'll leave a link mm-hmm Let's look at this. This is the control stick, joystick. Now this is, and I wish I had the, uh, a pointer here. I don't have a pointer. Anyway. Can I tell you about this? This is pretty cool how they crisscross here. Now, this is the aileron, aileron horn, and this is the side of the, uh, the, the control tube that goes down that's connected to the stick. So when you go left, this one goes up, this one goes down. It's a fuselage. So with these plans and a bunch of aluminum, you could put this plane together. Fly it around. Of course, you need an engine. But there you have it. Nice little plane. I just wanted to share that with you. It's called the Texas Parasol. The plans are available for free to, for download. You search for it. You also get the builder's manual explaining exactly how to put everything together. These are aluminum struts here holding the one. And then you have cable bracing going from the front to the bottom back and then the bottom top to the front bottom i mean top top you know crisscross um you have your i guess you could use wheelbarrow wheels on the bottom of the landing gear here put yourself together a nice little plane nice looking plane too so thanks for watching